Welcome to more Motorsports Garage. Hope everyone's having a blessed day. If you're new here, please consider clicking that subscribe button, click that like button, and turn that bell icon on to get notified of every upload. Okay, so as you can see on screen, that's my old EG hatch hood that I did back when I was 23 years old. A lot of things I could have done different. I ended up transferring that hood over to my green four-door, as you see right there. Um, and it looked good, but there was a lot of things I could have done differently. And now that I'm 32 years old, I have a bit more experience and I've been doing this a little bit longer so we can try this again and make it look a lot better. So we have the Dremel 4000 here. I've been using this for years from Walmart, works really well. It has adjustable speed between 20 and 25 is good for cutoff wheels in my experience. Uh, we have some pieces of wood here which will actually be glued in with the Gorilla Heavy Duty stuff right here. Um, it's going to be very strong hold. I've used this stuff before. It works great. Um, this will not be a problem with the heat because I do have an insert that goes under the hood which de uh, deflects the heat a little bit. So these will not catch fire or anything like that. They'll also have these LEDs put on there which are adjustable color, uh, stuff like that. Got these from Walmart for like $25. And we have over 40 Dremel cutoff wheels and a little bit more packs at Walmart if I need to go grab some more. And uh, we're going to be using that 3M to temporarily put this plexiglass in. It will be getting bonded permanently once the car is painted gloss white. So as you can still see, it's in the primer stage. But uh, yeah, I went ahead and cut this out with my laser etching machine to see if I could just laser etch it into the hood. That would be a lot cooler, a lot easier. But uh, it didn't go as big as I wanted it to, so that was my problem. This is as large as it would go. Just tested it on some cardboard to see. But either way, we're going to try to make this look even better than before. So if you're new here, please consider subscribing. We're so close to 100K subscribers, and I will be doing a video for the 100K giveaway with details on how you could win the 100K giveaway. Um, so all you, have, you have to be subscribed, though. So definitely turn that bell icon on to get notified of every upload. And we're just going to go ahead and get into it. I hope you guys enjoy this video. I'm going to go ahead and spray the area with some soapy water. That way I can position it where I want it to. And then we will use the heat gun to kind of just heat it up a little bit and squeegee it out some more. So that way it actually sticks. Okay, it's looking really good. I did double check measurements from this tip to here is five inches. Same from that tip to there, from this tip to this body line, this curve right here, and from this tip to this curve are all the exact same measurements across. It may not look like it's centered on camera. It's probably because the lighting, but either way, it's definitely centered and I am happy with it. So now we're gonna let that dry just a little bit more and then we will get to cutting it out with the Dremel.
Okay, got this side cut out. This took 14 cutoff wheels to do. And the reason was this support here, you can see I was actually making cuts into the support, which was a lot thicker and it was wasting them. So cutting that out of the way, which I had to do anyways, definitely cleared up more area under here. And we have to put the plexiglass there anyway, so it needed cut out. But uh, yeah, now that that's out of the way, maybe, God is willing, I can get the rest of this done with what I have. So here are the 14 that broke or wore down. Two of them broke. So I still have the reinforced ones, which these ones don't seem to last very long, surprisingly. These were actually lasting a bit longer and they're just the cheaper $4 ones. So I'm gonna go ahead and continue. I hope you guys are enjoying this video. All right, after I got done with the cutout, there was a lot of jagged edges, so I went ahead and used the Dremel with the sandpaper wheel on it and smoothed out as much as I could. I also went in there with a piece of sandpaper and actually smoothed it out by hand as well. After that, I moved my attention under the hood and sanded and primed, wiped down and all that good stuff, the underside of the hood, and then went ahead and painted it gloss white put a pearl gold over it out of spray can. It looks really good. So here's what it looks like right now under the hood. And as for this area, the reason it's only in primer and not the gloss white is I'm actually gonna be using a double-sided adhesive all around to hold the plexiglass. Temporarily, I will actually bond it in, but I'm gonna wait till after the whole thing's painted gloss white to do that. Cause I don't wanna have to bond it completely permanently and then like break it off. So I'm just gonna use double-sided adhesive all over. But uh, now we're gonna move over to the plexiglass. Okay, as for the plexiglass, it has this protective film on it. We're gonna go ahead and remove that film. Okay, now that we've got the film off both sides, 
we'll go ahead and use the steel wool. This is number 0000. We're basically just gonna scuff this thing up till it's nice and hazy. We're gonna do this on both sides as well. It wasn't working as good as I wanted it to, so I'm gonna step up to the 320 grit scuff pen. Okay, here's what it looks like. It's pretty hazy and that's exactly what we're going for. So now we're gonna put some double-sided adhesive on this and press it up under the hood. All right, I have the 3M double-sided adhesive placed up there. Now we're gonna go ahead and place this up there. All right, it looks pretty good. Now we're gonna go ahead and shut it and see what it looks like. Oh wow, that looks awesome. So it's just hazy enough. Once I get the LEDs behind it, it's going to scatter that light all around. So that's gonna look really good. So uh, I'm gonna try to get some LEDs and we'll get it lit up. All right, now I'm gonna go ahead and add some of the Gorilla Glue to both sides of these pieces of wood. All right, I have them taped in place as they dry. The best method is to apply pressure while they're drying, um, but this method does work as well. So we're gonna let that dry, then we'll put the LED strips on the inside of both of them. While those are drying, I'm gonna go ahead and feed the power cable through and get this mounted. Okay, they've been drying for about an hour and it is hot in the garage, so we should be cured enough to mess with. Now, fully cured, I believe is 24 hours for that glue. So now we're gonna go ahead and put these strips right on there. Uh, if you're wondering why this is right here, I need to get an extension harness that'll allow this to run into the car, but this is a perfectly good spot for it. And I'm probably just gonna have it on the uh, yellow or like gold color, so it should be fine. But uh, yeah, we're gonna go ahead and put these on.
All right, so right over here I have a cigarette lighter, dual cigarette lighter port. You can actually buy these, just a negative and a positive. Uh, this is temporarily set up just so we can see how good the lights are. So I'm gonna go ahead and turn it on. Now I'll push the power button. And you can actually let it cycle through them all. All right. Looks pretty good from this side, so I'm gonna go ahead and shut the hood and we'll see what it looks like outside with the lights off. And here's what it looks like in the dark with it cycling through. And I think it looks really good and it's plenty bright. Now I can set this on a solid color, which I have to, to legally drive it around with it like that. But look how much it lights the bay up. And that's just those two LED strips. We can also add a third one right here since these are connectable. You can just buy individual strips from Walmart. So I'm gonna probably do that. Just get an extra one just to make it even brighter, even though it looks plenty good enough. So it is legal if you have it on a yellow to orange color, anywhere between white and orange is the legal color for a vehicle lighting front. So that I've already looked those laws up and all of that is good. Um, but yeah, definitely looks really cool for like car meets or shows, even though this isn't car show quality. Still think it's a pretty cool little setup. And don't worry, I will be running all of this to a toggle switch inside the vehicle. Uh, this is just temporary to show you guys how it looks. But yeah, definitely looks really awesome. Um, but I'm gonna go ahead and try to put that insulation piece back on and we'll go from there. So with the insulation piece in, it doesn't make it as bright as it was, kind of darker right here in the center. I don't have it fully clipped in because I'm probably not going to run it. But uh, yeah, it's definitely really dark under here without it, so I might just take it off. Because I do want it to have the fullest effect, so I'm gonna go ahead and do that. Okay, so here it is outside. It looks really nice. I have my neighbor over here. What do you think of it? I'm blown away. The colors, the, I mean, just watch, watch what it does. And everyone has their individual color that they prefer. So it just does well. Yeah, I agree. Oh, the sword looks like it's giving way. <laughs> I had it propped open with the sword, but uh, we'll just put the prop back up in there. There we go. Uh, plastic sword, not a real sword, you know. <laughs> but uh, yeah, I definitely like how it looks and it's definitely coming together for sure. Once it's gloss white with that gold pearl, I think it's gonna look really official. Everything sticks out. It's it's just awesome right now. It, it really is. Well, I appreciate it. And as you said, the vision to see it now, it's like, I didn't see it like you said it. Right. Now I see it. Yeah, I did tell him what I was gonna do. And I mean, I, I'm not saying you said that it was a bad idea, but it was no, like, no. you didn't understand exactly what I meant I until you now, see it. <laughs> I'm blown away. Yeah, I am too. Like I've, I've outdone myself on this one, I yeah. think. I'm not trying to toot my own horn or nothing like that, but James, you know how it is. It is sharp. <laughs> we don't see it. this often, so. <laughs> yeah, and you'll you'll see it parked out here. Can you get fish bump? All right. <laughs> Next level, brother. Next level. I appreciate it. It does look good. I gotta go show my wife your phone. Okay, yeah, yeah. Have her come over and look at it. <laughs> yeah, that's uh, that's my neighbor George. Real good guy. Um, he likes the stuff that I do, and he doesn't give me problems like some other neighbors in the in neighborhood. But uh. Yeah, it definitely looks really, really cool. Definitely one of a kind for sure. Um, the old hood that I had, I ended up putting it on my four door, like I said. That one is rolling around somewhere in Arizona, I believe, uh, last time I seen or heard about it. So you may see a, a Civic running around with a similar hood cut. That would be the old one that I did. But uh, yeah, if you guys like this video, please share it around with your friends and uh, tag me on social media or whatever you can. I have Instagram, Instagram.com forward slash Texas Honda channel and Instagram.com forward slash more motorsports garage. So if you guys see it or something like that, snap a pic and tag me in it for sure. I'd like to see what you guys, uh, what you guys think about it and, uh, definitely want to see it shared all over the internet. If you can, there's way more to come. This is only the beginning. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, please hit that like button, drop a comment, helps me tremendously, and share the videos around. And stay tuned for once we get to that 100,000 subscriber mark, there will definitely be more to come. So I'll see you guys in the next one. As I like to say, God bless, stay safe, stay awesome.